And this works out pretty good. I got my tea and two frozen water bottles. So they're like an ice pack and the coffee. We're going to travel today to see my mom because my wife's mom's coming to visit her. We've made it to the car. We're about nine minutes late. Waiting on my son. He don't want to be in video, but he's going with me. And my wife said, how long y'all going to be gone? Because her sister has to work tomorrow. So I said, well, she don't want me to be gone too long. But she said, then she said, take your time. So I won't be gone too long. So I'll be here to take care of my wife. When I don't want to be alone. Yep, I'm here getting gas. So my card, <laughs> my glasses look like they cattle whoppers this morning. <laughs> but the gas here is like 329. A little bit more expensive, but not too bad. My son wanted a little drink. So I gave him 20 bucks. I said, go in there, get your drink, and tell him I want the rest of the gas. Now, I need a receipt for my fetch rewards. But I, but if you pay cash, I'm gonna start doing this. When you pay cash at the gas station, you ain't gotta worry about waiting four or five days for it to clear. Now, a credit card seems like it does it pretty good, but I don't have a credit card, so your bank card, even if you pay inside or you pay outside, it takes like five days to clear and you say, man, I got an extra $40. And then you spend it and then you go in the home because it didn't clear for like five days. So might be a good idea just to pay on the inside. Just go ahead and pay cash if you got it. Go to the bank, get just your gas money out, pay it, then when you spend something, you can actually see what you spend, which is pretty cool. Especially when you go on a road trip and you gotta count all your pennies due to this inflation we have. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit higher than I thought. It's 339. Good gracious. And I don't feel like stopping and getting a drink here and gas there, so we're just gonna get it all in one caboodle. It says go with the pro at Gas Pro. But you're gonna pay out out the in game to be able to put gas in your car. Well, I'm not. This is my mom. Hey, mom. Hello. We are here at Little B's. Yeah, Little B's got my coffee, oh, and chips. I got two filling steak. This is Little B's. Minutes. Got the, what y'all get? The club sandwich and fries and the coffee. You got the double cheeseburger right here. Ooh, they are piping hot, so. Yep. Little B's. Little bees. You know, oh, you want me to put some hot dogs. Yeah, some chips. Rub it back and forth on your hand. This is a little bees yeah, in Greenwood, South Carolina. Yeah. I had to mail a letter today. Boy, the rules have changed. I think I've mailed 15 letters in the last 10 years. Maybe 30. I can't remember. But every time they done got a new procedure, every time you come mail a letter. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, we was having a good time. Me, my mom, my son, and we was in there probably about an hour. Well, they only have like one booth for a restaurant, but it's not a restaurant, it's a gas station. Well, all of a sudden, the lady that really made me feel at home, I took my trucker's training a couple miles from here, and I got my Class B CDL. So I'd come in here and eat on my lunch break at this little place. And they couldn't remember my name and you could talk to them just like the family and probably tell them more than you should, you know. And when my wife's sick and they asked how my wife was, they said, you moved down here? So, you know, they remember half of what you tell them, but still it made you feel good at home. And two or three of them spoke to you real nice. You know, you felt like family, like you had a family reunion and felt really welcome, you know. And then we was there about an hour, and my mom's real good at paperwork. So she was helping me fill out some paperwork I needed to turn in. And we was just talking. And then the, another lady, the the nice people left. <laughs> then the mean shift come in. And instead of coming up to me, say, hey, sir, um, you know, we got other people like to eat. We only got one table. And she just started coming around to saying out loud she said well i guess i'll clean off the other part of the table and not really telling us but 
you know, we finally got the hint and it made me upset, mad, angry. So, you know, my mom has a heart pacemaker now. So she's, she'll be 78 in August, but she always dresses, you know, old school with the nice clothes and that's all she has because she was a professional for years till she retired and she just likes to dress up and she's when you dress like that you're hot and then my son was not there he went out the car so it's just me and my mom and i said as a regulars and so i went and confronted the lady and i said hey you know i said it really hurt my feelings i said why didn't you just come tell me and i said i felt real comfortable up here you know i had anxiety when i was going through my cdl training all my thoughts in my head and i'd come here get my belly fed and you guys would encourage us you know there's a lot of truck drivers stopping this little restaurant out in the country and i felt really home and grateful to have a place to come to do my lunch and you know kind of a reprieve and you know i hadn't been up there probably since february or maybe one or two times since and i want to meet my mom is kind of not really halfway, but about one third of the way from going all the way to her house. And she said, well, I had a bad day. And, and she grabbed my hand and she said, well, you're welcome to come back here anytime. But I didn't feel too welcome after she got on to me about staying at the table. So we went outside and we was out there probably another, about an hour, do this paperwork. And then it was, it went from about 88 degrees to like 90 three degrees and my mom was like oh i need to get out of there out of this heat you know so she um was about ready to go and i said well, i need to mail this or i ain't gonna mail it because i only got like a, a week more to get it in the mail so i went to the post office and mailed it but yeah man it's just you know people maybe we was in there too long at the restaurant but we sat outside we went out there probably seven eight minutes and the people that wanted that table so bad they were only in there like seven minutes and left you know i mean why did they even stop and nobody sat there the whole time and my mom said she's just being mean and the place is called little bees i wonder if that stands for something else you know like little little bee <laughs> it, it would be fitting then maybe that's what it really stands for so i don't know it's kind of got a bad taste in my mouth and it's one of the only places in the world that I can go and eat a hot dog that has onions in it. Because onions are like real fine, you know, real, real, real little. Little in the spot that splashes on my glasses from the rain. And they're baked in there or cooked in there and they cook down and they're sweet onions. So only, only time I can eat onions. And everything, the food was good. And, you know, felt warm and welcoming. And then all of a sudden they said that, you know, and, uh, they just kind of got me, you know, I guess shouldn't let it bother me, but it did. <laughs> so I don't know, you know, it's, it's a long way to go up there. It's about an hour and 20 minutes. So I probably just had to find somewhere else because I don't think Waffle House has ever ran me off. Not yet. But, you know, they got to make the money. But for seven minutes, you know, and we was in there, we waited like 30 minutes before we got the table. And we had to clean the table. So we waited. We didn't say anything. And they weren't moving. You know, we got our food. We standing around. And the people that was already in there, when we got there, didn't move. They didn't say nothing rude to them. Hmm. So I guess you just can't let it bother you. Sometimes you have to put up with little bees at the little bees. What is up with this rain? See, this keeps the sun off your head. It keeps the rain off your head. It is raining every day about. My grass going to be tall as the trees. I can't find that perfect window to cut it between the rain. I mean, it's cool with no air conditioning because you ride with the windows down. But it's rough when you're trying to cut grass. Yeah. <laughs>
That rain, boy. Rain, rain every day. It's like April showers here in July, almost August. It's raining all the time. Say something over there. I thought it was a rabbit. Might have been a bird. What is up with this rain? And one of the best things going to see my mom today was see my mom. Really cool. So now I put her to work with all the paperwork. But she's real good at it. And this the trip, he had to drive through so far with a bunch of trees and the long road. Now that road is rough driving at night because the deers and all pop out. But it's just so peaceful like I like being at home on the porch, you know, fixing to go to Waffle House. Boy, well, this is real peaceful. But it's almost peaceful riding, except for the people that come right up on your butt and they finally taxi you after 10 miles, you know. But it was nice. The food was good. <clears throat> but, you know, you just had to deal with the little bees. It's raining inside the Waffle House. As bad as it's raining on the outside, almost. <laughs> you know, the air conditions had trouble in here, but with it raining and the rain hit me, my wife got cold. So I had to go get my jacket out of the car that I wear when it gets cold at my job. Making my wife nice and warm. Most beautiful woman in the world. And uh, Took just brought the sandwich, and he said he had to give it to us to, before it got rained on. When we first got here, he said they had the cook. They had a a special. Since it's raining, they said you get a free shower with your food. So buy a meal, get a free shower. Yeah, buy a meal, get a free shower. So they got some very talented comedy coming out of frustration when things are going wet. Uh, trip, 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 trip. My wife wanted grits. You wanted eggs on yours, right? My wife, she just re show it. She almost put creamer in her tea. So the one of them old moment things. And look at that tea. Look at that tea. It's earthquake. In the tea bottle. That bacon. Boy, that bacon looks good, do not it? Here to win. You could hear that rain coming before it got here. You could hear it. Kind of like the wind blows in the trees if you've been watching my videos. And now the rain just, you know, it just kind of kept going and, man, might not be much, but this is my little paradise. <laughs> kind of got some crazy news but my daughter she is going to cook breakfast for us if we get over there by 9 30 so that's kind of cool and i get to see my little grandbaby my other one's in school the older one but we got to watch the grandbaby while her friend is having her baby i think it's her second child so she said we get over there by 9 30 she'll cook breakfast for her so count on that but just two or three minutes when my wife was sitting out here and two or three minutes ago before she went in the house it went boom so the lightning is attacking my neighbor's yard <laughs> Before I hit the button that was real loud, and it took about eight seconds, so it's probably about two miles now. But yeah, man, <laughs> lightning. The rain was coming up. You know, usually the rain goes down, but it was spraying everywhere. That's why I put my hat on. And sitting this way, even though I like sitting in the swing, but the porch light is over here so it kind of gives me a little bit of light instead of having to turn the camera around backwards but yeah it was a it was a pretty cool day you know side of the little bees 
<laughs> in the Waffle House. We love this Waffle House. And the air hadn't worked, and it's leaking when it rains. You know, <laughs> the thing's about to fall apart. And they're fixing it. It's on the schedule for a remodel, but, you know, business and they got to get all their money to depreciate their assets and all that mess. So they got to wait perfect time. And then for about three months, their employees be split up from different Waffle Houses. So I'm going to hate that because this was, you know, right here by the house, about nine miles or six, seven, I don't know. I, we get there so fast, I forget to figure out how far it is. But yeah, out here enjoying the, the thing. My wife, she said, she remembered her childhood stuff, and she said, if um, if it wasn't lightning and thunder, that'd be the type of stuff to get out there and run around and play in, you know. So we'll be over there about 9.30 in the morning and get us some breakfast. And I'll make my coffee and get everything situated and having a fun time making some videos, putting it together and you know, one day my wife might not be here. Well, she ain't gonna be here, but I got her on video sometime. And sometimes she don't want to be on there, but she understands that you know I'll be able to go back and watch the video and see her and and you know remember and the kids and the family if they, if they want to. Some people once you go someplace, that's it. I we went to see her dad's grave and. He was cremated, and he got a stone um, from the vet, the military. And we hadn't been up there in a little while, so she went up there about a month or two months ago, somewhere around there, and she didn't want me to video it. But we went up there, and she had the stone. Whoever cut the grass for the cemetery, they chipped it. So they've hit it with a lawnmower. And I mean, you know, you, they can't help it, but still, you kind of want something like that. That's why I just want to be cremated. And once my ashes go away and then wash away or whatever, then I'll be on video on YouTube. So this would be cool if Google keeps the videos around. And it might not be relevant in the future but it might you know and who knows i don't know if i'll be advertiser friendly so i don't know if i ever make money on youtube but i get to have fun doing it <laughs> and i come up with all them ideas you know like i had one today zoop i was doing the paperwork and just the idea popped in you know like like i get them from above sometimes my son needed antibiotics and but he ain't taking the antibiotic no more. So we still gotta take it from the doctor. <laughs> but yeah, man, just just enjoying this crazy weather. Making some video to fill up this 20 minute with driving. I had I had one driving in the country and I had a little bit back, about 20 something minutes. So it's a lot, it's a lot to fill up in 20 minutes but I thought it'd be so cool. It's one of my ideas, you just have to do it because, you know, I can't do that planning stuff. And today's Tuesday, Wednesday. Hopefully they'll, by Thursday, they'll tell me what's wrong with my car and they can wipe out the rest of my uh, vacation fund to get my truck back on the road. And hopefully it'll run without quitting, but, you know, I got my plan try to put a hundred dollars a week back for repairs so i won't be stuck like chuck or stuck like with this hat on my head <laughs> but yeah man just trying to share what we did today and and uh, appreciate y'all watching having a good time because there's 110 million channels on youtube so people watching my stuff are like hey yeah you know contributing to the video age, you know, and just keep having a ball, having a ball. Yeah, thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and, you know, enjoy the fun. And it's so cool to be able to do YouTube and be able to leave this legacy behind and 
and share, kind of document the things. And we come up on this school bus, so time to go.